With over 1.5 billion active users, Gmail is an email service provider that marketers can't afford to ignore when it comes to inbox placement. Gmail's filter is notorious for being one of the strictest out there. If you haven't considered the need to improve deliverability in Gmail, it's time to acknowledge that you're missing out on critical engagement opportunities from a significant chunk of your audience. Gmail is widely used, and if you aren't targeting it with specific solutions, it will affect your bottom line. So what's a marketer to do? In this episode of Per My Last Email, we are going to share seven things that you can do to start improving Gmail deliverability and get you back on track to hitting those email marketing goals. Gmail's filters are strict, but there is a way to build sender trust, and that's by sending emails consistently with high open rates. But how do you get there? By segmenting your users. At Image, we deploy all content to at least two distinct segments, Gmail and non-Gmail. This will ensure that our open rates aren't artificially depressed by mixing in Gmail users with other email addresses. This also ensures a maximum open rate for the non-Gmail segment, which will help begin the process of building a healthy sender reputation with Google. Now that you've segmented to Gmail and non-Gmail, it's time to re-engage with multiple staggered sends. You want to segment that Gmail list into active and inactive with the aim of dividing up that inactive list into smaller send segments. This will easily and inexpensively boost your open rate, which in turn speeds up the process of regaining that sender trust from Gmail. Next, to warm up that inactive list, we recommend a multi-send re-engagement series. The purpose here is to remind your audience what your brand is all about and to tell them what type of content they can anticipate to receive from you in the future. To do this effectively, go back and repurpose proven winners from past email sends that earned high engagement metrics. You'll want to tweak the content a little and make sure your audience knows that you haven't heard from them in a while and you're hoping to rekindle that relationship. It's important to aim for short form, highly clickable content with a simple call to action. Think petitions, one click surveys, and encouraging users to add your email sending address to their contacts. If you haven't heard of domain based message authentication, reporting and conformance or DMARC for short, it is an essential tool for optimizing your sender reputation. DMARC is an email validation system designed to protect your email domain from being used for email spoofing, phishing scams, and other cyber crimes. In short, utilizing DMARC adds another layer of legitimacy to Google's filters by protecting your domain against abuse. Did you know that one of the main reasons users become inactive is due to lack of engaging content? To avoid this, plot out a send schedule that ensures users won't go two or so weeks without hearing from you. But practice that with some discretion. The goal here is to deliver engaging pieces of content without flooding someone's inbox. So be intentional with your sends. It's all about finding that right balance between engaging content and a frequency that provides utility to your audience. Another best practice that you should be incorporating into your Gmail efforts is getting set up with the free Google Postmaster tool to help with monitoring domain reputation. Google Postmaster will show you data about DMARC failures, spam complaints, IP reputation, and more. It is extremely useful in monitoring and debugging deliverability issues. Our last tip is to know when it's time to say goodbye. If you have done everything in your power and a chunk of your users are still not opening your emails, it might be time to unsubscribe them. You aren't losing any meaningful reach with these users who don't click or engage with your content. And holding on to them can actually hurt your deliverability to the users that do engage with your content. So do what's best for all involved and know when to let go. Start with these seven tips and you'll begin to see an improvement in your Gmail deliverability. But like anything in digital marketing, a lot of this is a test, learn, and iterative process. If you'd like to learn more about how we approach email marketing strategy, head on over to image.com and click through to the marketing offering service page. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next week.